Now, they have confirmed they're having problems with cell phones out there. I guess they're being blocked or whatever. And uh, he made a post earlier just asking everybody not to uh, pass on any disinformation that didn't, con- you know, isn't confirmed yet. Roger. <clears throat> There's a report uh, about 15 minutes ago that uh, someone saw a small convoy of military equipment on I-40 in Kingman, Arizona that had uh, turned north on US-93. US-93 connects I-40 to the Vegas area, looks like. It runs into Boulder City then Henderson.
All right, I finally got a hold of Jerry. Uh, give him the information here for the conference call. Be right back. See if I can you can tell what's going on at the Bunny Ranch.
Am I in here? Here, Mississippi. Hello. Hello? What's going on? Oh, not a whole lot. You guys got any updates on going? Anything going on in Nevada? Uh, we got a few. Um, uh, this is rumor. I have, no one has confirmed, but... They said, uh, I think Fed is containing militia. Um, I, I also heard that Fed is open fire on protesters, which, which I think is not accurate. Um, uh, let's see what else. Militia is requesting black hole and units to be out there and they're requesting APCs. That's you know, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on today, you know. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of whole lot of stuff. I just tried to send to see what uh what was going on, if anybody uh, had anything new. So I heard uh, uh some uh, heard often, rumor that they shut uh communications down out there, feds did. That has not been confirmed yet. Okay, I'm just making sure. Yeah, I'm waiting to hear back uh, from Jerry. He's, uh, Jerry Buckhart from OMA. He's supposed to be uh, joining the conference here in a little bit. Okay. Uh, he's, but, he's supposed to have uh, direct contact with uh, Ryan, who's actually on site. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess does anyone confirm if the cell phone lines are down? Come again. Has anybody confirmed that uh, communication lines is down? Uh, I haven't got confirmation yet. I was still looking. Roger. Yeah, I've heard a lot of COINTEL Pro being thrown around, but I haven't gotten any real confirmations on anything. I decided I'd wait till tonight to see what he says and Here you go. Get, a, get a nightly update. I read on Facebook... Um, Somebody teamed up with the Bondies against the um, the the Department of uh, what is that called the the Department of Land Resources Bureau of Land Management. Yeah, I heard that they gonna somebody is teaming up with the Bondies the against them, but it's not being confirmed. I know they're asking for ham radio operators. There's a couple of calls for them going out, so they, I don't know. That might have some credence with the uh, communication thing. And uh, a roadblock has been put down, has been shut down. Um, I can't think where, but that has been um, affirmed. Oh, so they put the put the block back up on a. Uh, Hey, Rule 15, then? It's been taken down. Hmm. Right, yeah, we heard something about a roadblock. We just didn't have any, uh, just didn't have any confirmation on that either. So much stuff being thrown around. So, 
All right, everybody else is going to jump on back on right around 8, 9 o'clock, or they're going for the same scheduled time they did last night? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, I got uh, got some information about uh, someone who's in the cell phone industry there. They said that there are uh, no towers where uh, they're close to the Bundys. Uh, like the closest one is in Mesquite Town. Uh, so the people are draining that tower and uh, the ones that are further away. That's what's causing the communications to delay. That's where, as far as her expertise says, anyways. How close is that place from Mesquite, Nevada? Uh, not very not very far. I think it's only like uh, 10, 15 minutes, something like that, or maybe closer. And my sister and them used to live over in Mesquite, and that's why I ask. Uh, so, um, any confirmation on the, uh, does Nevada have a militia, or is there any confirmation anybody from Nevada showing uh, up? Yeah, right. Nevada does have a militia. Uh, they're on the uh, UAMAC website, or the group page on Facebook here. Okay. Yes, yeah, speaking oh, of which, I'm going to talk about that one, too. Just there for it. Um, law enforcement is stopping cars that appear to be going to Bundy's and they have co confiscated legal phones from citizens. Hmm. What? That's confirmed. Uh, let me I think see. that'd be enough right there to kick it off. In that situation. I'm not sure if it is confirmed. I can find out for you. American Spartans checking back in. I mean, we got on the line nowadays. God, I'm not sure I haven't been counting. I think, I think the last count was six. All right, hey, uh, I got a, I got a question to ask anybody that's uh, monitoring uh, Facebook. Uh, does anybody uh, like the page Bundy Ranch? Like, just as it says, Bundy Ranch. <clears throat> it seems that they have uh, set up their own little, uh, I guess, public page or whatnot. But uh, okay. they have on their attention alert, uh, we have had multiple reports of people being detained for 24 hours. These people who are trying to come protest with us, or, or these are people who are trying to come protest with us and are mostly militia. If you're militia and traveling, please be safe. Hmm. And this one was made, well, it was made about five hours ago, but this is the last... Um, the last post that they made. I heard a rumor that um, someone was shot and killed there today. Ooh, I don't know about that. I think that would be all over the place. Yeah, I heard that about a half hour ago. Yeah, I Has anybody been like on that Facebook there. with uh, Jerry Burkhart's website? He's supposed to be uh, giving updates. Yes, I am... Uh, I'm an affiliate with Oma, and I got Jerry on chat with me right now. He's going to be joining the uh, conference here uh, as soon as he's able to. Okay, excellent. Mm hmm.
Hey, fellas, I'm going to jump off of here real quick, and uh, I'll check up with you all here in a little bit. All right, brother. All right, man. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Oh, if you guys, uh, I found a uh, a site on uh, Instant Customer that, uh, the, that the Bundys had set up. Uh, this is uh, support Clive and Bundy at um, instantcustomer.com. You will get instant updates via text messages and, in, and email. They're, uh, they've set this up because Facebook's not the most reliable uh, means of getting their word out, I suppose. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, let's see. If you all want the address, uh, let me know whenever you're right. Whenever you're ready to write it down here. Uh, give me a second. That damn pen is high for me again. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, man. This. All right, ready. Because it's going to be a short one. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Bravo Indigo What was that? Bravo? Yeah, Bravo Indigo Tango dot Com. Hold on a second. <clears throat> it's reloading. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, I gotta reload the page. I just found the Nevada Militia Facebook group. I'm going to be on there and ask them if they got boots over there. All right. I'd have to assume they do. Yeah, I would assume they would too. I heard rumors that um, Montana militia had boots on the ground. Same thing as Texas. Yeah. Okay. I got the uh, I got the link back up. It's uh, the HTTP colon slash slash Bravo Indigo Tango dot Delta Oscar forward slash Bundy. And that's short form URL, so it'll take you to the page. All right, so it's Bravo in, in, uh, Bravo Intigo Tango dot, dot Delta Oscar Bundy. So forward slash Bundy. Yeah. All right. And uh, all you, you got to do is like uh, put your name, email, and then your uh, the number that you want to receive the texts, and that's all it asks. Yeah. And then uh, any any uh, communication that they send out through there will head straight to you. All right. I'd be that would be a little handy tool. Mhm. Yeah, and actually, while I think about that, I'm going to go ahead and go to their main page, instantcustomer.com, and I'm going to go ahead and bookmark that shit just in case we need to use that in the future. Yeah, 
if I can get into the Nevada militia page, and I'm gonna tell him to join this conference, so we can have somewhat detail. Yeah. Uh, the Southern Nevada Militia is the uh, is the organization that's part of the UAMAC. I don't I don't think the Nevada Minutemen have uh, have been active on uh, Facebook. <clears throat> yeah, they haven't been, uh, the Minutemen anyways hasn't been active since December 17th, it looks like. Are you, uh, are you on the group? Uh, yeah, I join. Or I, uh, they have a public page, uh, not a group page, but a public page, uh, Nevada Minutemen, and I, uh, I liked, quote unquote, liked their page and have been following that for a little bit. But as far as uh, the Southern Nevada militia, the one that uh, the U, that's part of UAMAC, I'd sent a request to them probably about a week ago. Whenever I first, you know, heard all this. Uh, shit going down, and they haven't responded to the uh, request yet, so I can't see anything on their page. Oh, have, any, have any of you all heard about the uh, uh, the briefing about the Arizona legislature sending an official delegation to the Bundy Ranch? Do what? I uh, uh, something about that a while ago. Uh, you guys want me to read that off? Yeah, I got that text right in front of me. Okay, approximately 11 a.m. this morning, the Arizona legislature passed a resolution of support to the Bundy family and against the heavy-handed tactics of the United States government, especially the Bureau of Land Management, and the seizure of grazing land used by the Bundys since the late 1880s in Clark County, Nevada. The resolution is signed by members of the Arizona House of Representatives standing against any and all violations of state sovereignty and violations of the U.S. Constitution by the federal government. This resolution is to be hand-carried hand this weekend and delivered to members of the Nevada State Legislature in support of their right to protect state and local sovereignty. <laughs> Furthermore, an official, an official delegation from the state of Arizona comprised of Arizona State Senators and members of the Arizona House of Representatives will be traveling to stand with legislatures from western, other western states, citizens of various states, militiamen, oath keepers, and constitutional sheriffs and peace officers Peace Officers Association members at the Bunker Ranch in Clark County, Nevada. The President of the Arizona State Senate, the Honorable Andy Biggs, and the Speaker of the Arizona House of Representatives, the Honorable Andy Tobin, have both endorsed the Arizona delegation of legislators and their journey to the Bundy Ranch to stand in support of all who choose to protect individual and personal property rights and all inalienable rights granted to we the people by our forefathers and authors of the Constitution's Constitution for the United States of America, as well as state sovereignty granted by the Tenth Amendment of the United States Constitution. The Arizona delegation of legislatures 
further recognizes the constitutional authority and rights of the sheriff in preserving the sovereignty of his county and the people under his jurisdiction and stands with those sheriffs who stand to enforce the Constitution against all assault, including political. It appears that the federal government is so completely out of touch with the citizens to whom they are accountable to that federal agencies cannot fathom they are awakening, they are awakening a sleeping giant. And then it goes on to opinions added on to the text, which I'll go ahead and neglect to read. It looks like the uh, state of Arizona is sending a delegation out to Nevada to help influence it towards the, uh, the stance of the Bundys. That's pretty, uh, pretty reassuring, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to check back with you guys here in a little bit. <laughs> 